Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Been a few weeks, I think now, two weeks maybe, not that long. But I was like, let's just sit down and film a video that I've wanted to film for ages. I have this habit, I'm like, yeah, I'll film this video and I never do. And I'm gonna be showing you how I get my model off duty slick bun that I've been doing a lot lately because I was just like, why not just show them how I do it? So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. But before we get on to the video, I just want to say thank you for all the support in my last video. Um, I don't even know if I made sense in that video, but feeling a lot more positive and better. And I've been just kind of focusing on living in the moment a bit more and just, you know, not worrying so much. And it's working. So yeah, just going to get on into the video now because I don't want it to be too long. What you'll need is, you need a few things, so two bobbins, or one, but I use two. Um, you need like a brush like this, this is a back combing brush. Um, I honestly, you can get these, I'm pretty sure on like, pretty little thing, Amazon, probably ASOS maybe. I got this in like a college kit, so I don't know how much it was or anything, but just a back combing brush. If you don't have a back combing brush, just a brush with like bristles like this one because that's how you get the sleek look to your hair and then obviously a normal hairbrush to brush out your hair and you will need some hairspray and some hair gel so the hairspray i use is the got to be glued i got this in tesco and it's actually quite cheap i thought it was like one of the expensive ones but it's actually cheaper than you think and this is just a random hair gel i also got this in tesco some people like to use wax on their hair and i know the way i think that's how you say it way 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 i don't know how you pronounce that but some people i know some people like way um wax because it's like matte and it gives you that matte sleek i want to get that to try but it's quite expensive so i was like let's just get hair gel hair gel does the same thing it just doesn't give you the matte look it'll be look a bit more greasy but it's fine and also you're gonna want to do this on greasy hair like this is my second day hair my hair gets greasy quite easily so this is my second day hair and i would usually do this on the second day or the third day of my hair when i don't feel like washing it i'll just put it up in a bun like this looks nice looks cute and you've literally barely put any effort in and i love that <laughs> so my hair it actually isn't too greasy but it's greasy enough to do this type of bun so i just kind of brush my hair through first just to get any knots out because you don't want knotty hair doing this because it's just not gonna work okay so now my hair is brushed out i'm looking a bit crazy slick back look <sighs> i look crazy so we're gonna split your hair in the middle or wherever you part your hair i think for a look like this it's gonna look better if you split it down the middle so just if you don't like your middle part and it's fine you can do it to the side but i'm doing it too in the middle because that's where i part my hair so we're just gonna take the end of the brush and get the middle just like as best as you can straight it doesn't have to be completely straight because we're not actually going to keep it all the way okay so now i've split my hair and it's not perfect but as i said it doesn't have to be just going to brush it again my hair gets quite knotty so i'm just going to brush it again you could leave it parted like this and do it like low i do that sometimes so i would pull it back low and I would keep this all here but that's not what the model of Judy look is it's more up so you can go on the top of your head here or they say the most flattering way to do it is to be like in the eye the line with your eyes I think honestly I think that I heard that somewhere so basically what I do is I take this little brush this is the best brush for a hairstyle like this so yeah i take this brush and i kind of just start scraping my hair back on both sides towards the back of my head at first i just kind of go back like this 
and then it will all come together when we want it to. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you, but basically while you're scraping, grab each thing you're scraping. And now we're just going to bring it up higher, so it's like in the line of my eyes. And then I sometimes take bits out of the front. I, I have long bits in my hair. It look better if you have short bits in your hair at the front. Um, and I would actually do this before I scrape my hair back. So I'm going to just do that today to show you. I actually kind of forgot. It look better if you have short bits in your hair. I sometimes take them out because. But I have long bits so it doesn't look as good. So you shouldn't take bits out of the front. Like this. Just as much as you want. So I just kind of twist them. Just so they're not all over my face. And leave them like that. So now we're going to scrape back the hair again. And then we're scraping it back like so. Oh, can you hear that static? That is not a vibe. And you can see here, it's not straight down the middle anymore with my split parting. But we just want to do that so you have like the even amount of hair. And then that's about the line of my eye. Before you put it in the ponytail, this bit's kind of hard. I can't lie because if you had a pot of gel, it'd be easier for you. But I have the squeezy tub, so I just put it in between my legs and squeeze it. <laughs> At this stage, you want to just grab all the hair, try get it as smooth as you can. It's kind of hard. You have to keep going in, but try get it like no bumps, as smooth as you can along your hair. Your arm will kill you. My arm is actually dead. <laughs> so at this stage. Um, before you put the bobbin in, you would take your gel or your wax, whatever you're using. I'm using gel and put a little bit in. I'm getting like literally the tiniest amount, that much gel. And I'm just going to go along the sides of my hair with the gel. And I'm taking the brush, the same brush I used, and just scraping back that gel. So it gives you that gelled hair all the way down effect. And again, with the pomade wax thing, you would probably, you won't get like shiny hair. So then just do that on both sides and the top of your head with like literally this small amount of wax or gel. You don't need loads. And scraping. Oops, I lost a bit on the other side. Get that back in. Scraping it back just so you're till you're happy with how it looks like sleek. You this is the aim here. You want it to be really sleek. Okay, so at this point I'm happy with how it looks now. It's not a, like not really really like there's no bumps or anything. I didn't actually put any gel on the top of my head, but I can go in when I have my bobbin. So, getting one of the bobbins and just wrapping it really tightly around, trying to keep the ponytail isolated in one place while you wrap it around and just wrap it around to the tightest one and pull it. So you have this now. Little few bumps here, but we can fix that now. If you just pull your hair in the ponytail, along you'll get rid of those bumps so now i'm gonna put a little bit more gel just in the sides and that before i do anything else because it's looking a bit bumpy so i'm just gonna smooth it down with the gel before i touch it and this is kind of a cute look as well like with just the ponytail if you wanted to keep a ponytail it's kind of cute as well i better look like bella hadid and all after this but basically take your ponytail Twist as you wrap, if that makes sense. So as I'm wrapping, I'm twisting my hair. And then when I get to about here, leave those little bits sticking out. Grab your other pony, er, bobbin and just wrap the bobbin around your hair. 
leave those at the sticky nail because that's what make it like the model of Judy, do you know what I mean? And she's looking cute. So just if you feel like there's loose bits at the back, just take them, put them in the bobbin. I'm going to leave them a little bit sticking out a little bit because I like, you can get clips either if you need to. So now we have this looking cute with the little bit sticking out the back. Now I will take a little bit of the tiniest little bit of gel and just run it through the front bits, like the bits that are hanging down, just so they're like not like so they're sleek and they're not the baby hairs aren't going everywhere. Do you know what I mean? So they look like this. Again, these would look much nicer if they were like here on me, but we're gonna ignore that. This is basically done, but I'm just gonna grab the hairspray and spray my whole head spray the bone bit so it stays just in place where you want it you know and then kind of just go like this bring it back don't forget the under bit as well the bone And that is basically it done. That is how I get my model of Judy hairstyle. I kind of prefer it when I don't have those bits out just because they are so long. But I think it looks really cute when they're short and like smaller bits. But yeah, that's how I get the model of Judy born. I hope this was helpful because when I didn't know how to do this, I was like, that looks so hard to do. How am I going to get my hair so sleek? How do I get the bits sticking out and everything? But it's actually so simple to do. And you don't need lots of products either. It's like you only need a few things to achieve it. And it's a cute little hairstyle you can do when your hair is greasy. And you still want to look cute? Just do this because it looks really cute. That's. The finished hairstyle i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope it helped someone who was wondering how to do it and i might do a few more hairstyles that i can do that you could get for short hair if anyone is interested in that but yeah i'll see you in my next video bye peace out